Hey you guys, welcome to today's video, another episode of Sunscreen Saturday or Sunday. Kind of depends on what might be coming in the mail. I'm really excited to try today's sunscreen because it is a Korean sunscreen. It is Isn't Tree Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. And the words watery always get me a little excited when it comes to sunscreen because my favorite had that word in it. I mentioned in a recent video that two of my three favorite sunscreens I cannot find anymore. So I'm, I'm bummed and the surge is on. Before we get into it though, I do want to ask you, consider giving me a thumbs up. That really helps the algo with YouTube and helps to push me out so I can be seen by more people and grow. You don't need to know the details. I don't even know the details really, but I know that it helps and I would really appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up. And also, before we get into this, I want to talk about the Tower 28. So I did that the other day when I did the Westman Atelier video, and I wore it every day since then. But there are a couple of things I want to talk to you about. One, I mentioned that it was burning my lids, and I can feel, see this redness right here? It literally burnt my lids. I'm not a huge mineral person. I've recently been using some that don't burn my skin, but this one did. I want to tell you a little bit about it. Here it is. <laughs> it is 12% zinc oxide. It is $30 for one fluid ounce. And there's prickly pear and white sage. A uh, prickly pear, I've seen it be used on one other occasion in skincare. White sage, I've never heard of being used in skincare, neither here nor there. What I like about it is the tint is pretty good and it doesn't turn orange and that's very, very nice. But it is worth noting that most sunscreens come in two ounces, not one. Foundations come in one. So while they are marketing this as a tinted sunscreen slash foundation, they're pricing it like a foundation. So this should be $30 for two ounces, right? Instead, it's $30 for one ounce. That's a foundation price. And as we all know, if you don't know, you guys, in order to get the SPF labeled on the box, you must use a quarter of a teaspoon because this is a dose-specific label. So at a quarter teaspoon, you're going to go through it very, very fast. For me personally, though, what I might do is instead of putting a whole quarter teaspoon of that product on, is I'll put on half of my can make, for instance, and then I'll put on half of this so it'll last me a little bit longer. Because for me, a one fluid ounce foundation, like Yay, I usually use two pumps. I don't use a quarter teaspoon. So I've used it every day. I think it doesn't look like foundation exactly. And I will say that I think the Elastin Tinted looks a little bit more like foundation on my skin than the Tower does, but the Elastin's a little too dark for me. It only comes in one color, or this one comes in a range of colors. But I still felt very, very comfortable using that as my foundation and sunscreen or sunscreen booster for the last couple of days. It did burn my lids like nobody's business. I'm never touching this on my lids again. I am sensitive to zinc. I do find zinc to be drying. But on my face, not too bad. It is because it's zinc. It isn't something I want to use over and over and over again. Though. So today we're going to go in with a foundation when we're doing the test for this. Now let's talk about this one. I have seen this priced on YesStyle at $18. I got it on Amazon at $26. YesStyle is great, but you have to order a certain amount in order to get free shipping, and it oftentimes takes three weeks. And I wasn't going to order three of these since, you know, I didn't know if I liked it or not. And if I do like it, maybe I will. It is SPF 50 plus, 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 that's four pluses, and pluses are the UVA rating. Four is the most that you can get. So good UVBA and UVB. Some of the great ingredients in here are niacinamide, glycerin, centella asiatica, which is very soothing. Glycerin is a humectant, topoferol, sodium hyaluronate, 
adenosine, which is a skin communicator. It's very nice. And ceramide NP. There's several ceramides, so they only have one ceramide in here. That's okay. I have all the ceramides on right now. I've already done my skin care. For the actives, this is also very exciting, or maybe even more very exciting, because this uses the next generation sun filters. So the other day I saw Angie do a video saying, I'm finally using a Korean sunscreen, it's mineral. And to me it's like, well, what's the point of that? The reason I like Korean sunscreens, Japanese sunscreens, and these are also in Europe, but they're more expensive, is because they use the next generation sun filters, the tinosorbs and the juveniles. And this one has Tinosorb S and Tinosorb M and Juvenal A+. There's also another Juvenal, but it's not here. It also has Avobenzene, Octosalate, and Homosalate. But these new next-generation filters are much more stable than the filters in the United States. So let's give this a try. This is what it looks like. I have already done my skincare. Shaky shake. So this tells me it's going to be kind of milky. Just this opening. Quarter teaspoon. There's no alcohol in this, by the way, which thrills me. So this actually looks like it might be creamy. I thought, oh, okay. I thought it might be milky and runny, like the tower is, but it's a little creamy. I tried this on my hand last night, you guys. It is one of those things that looks like one product, and then when you start putting it on, it feels like another. So, wow. I think there's a bluishness to this because it's making me look super tan. <laughs> this turns a little watery as you move it around. The texture changes. And I was thinking when I put this on my hand last night, this might be something I'd want to put on in, you know, put on half and give it a second, and then put on another half because it's so watery. It might take forever to blend it in, but the whole thing's on my face right now. It feels very light. There is nothing heavy or sticky about this product. Now, I usually use a quarter teaspoon for face and parts of the neck, at least. It is raining today. It's cloudy. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. This is my kind of weather. I don't know that, that there's a reason for me to tell you that. Just because it looks different today, maybe. And that's it. So there's a little bit of a white cast, but certainly not a lot. And there shouldn't be because there's no zinc in here. So I have a feeling, give this five minutes, which we're going to do. And yeah, it's not going to look white. Today I'm going to go in with my coke and dough. This is the coke and dough before they reformulated it. I found this and I thought, oh my god, finally a foundation. It isn't yellow on me. And I just happened to be online maybe a month later and I saw they were reformulating it. And of all the colors, the only color they were changing was this one. And they were going to make this one more yellow. So I bought five bottles. And <laughs> this is not cheap. But I don't use it anymore because of all my darkness over here, I just felt like it wasn't giving me enough coverage and now that this is faded I'm pulling it back out. I gave it a really good shape because I haven't worn it in a while and it seems like it's empty but I know this is not. So we'll just start with that and the idea is we want to see how the sunscreen works with my skincare products. No problem at all. There was no balling, there was no peeling, there were no problems and how does it work with foundations? skin looks so good. Well, so far there's no problem. No balling, no pilling, no streakiness. The, the only problem is my pump. There we go. <laughs> wow. No problem at all. I would say that this looks really lovely. And I, you know what? I didn't even think to notice 
my skin doesn't look super, super shiny. And I know that this used to be shiny with my other sunscreen. So I think I'm going to have to look when I, you know, start to edit and I'll, I'll write it down here. But I think this, it, it may not be matte a fine, but it's not as shiny as my usual stuff. I don't even feel that I need some powder. I'm kind of digging this a lot. I wanted to try this for several days and make sure that it's not drying my skin because oftentimes if it's not giving me that shine then it's doing the opposite. But I don't see anything in the ingredient deck that says danger, warning, this is an ingredient that's drying or this is an ingredient that is for people who have acne or oily skin. This is, as I said, it has some beautiful ingredients. There's no alcohol in here and there's glycerin and hyaluronic acid or sodium hyaluronate and those are both humectants and I'm kind of pleased. I just want to, the sun's kind of out, I'm going to change my light a little bit so we can get one more look. Um, I think this looks really, really beautiful. I don't have that a little too much shine look that I oftentimes get but it still looks skin-like. So you can see from my lights, you know, oh, okay, there's, there's reflection going on here, but it's not like blinding. So you guys, so far, I really like this. I do want to continue to try this and come back to you maybe in my next video, just like I updated you with the Tower 28 today. Maybe the next video I will come back and tell you what I am finding with this one, but so far, I am feeling like, yay. That's what I'm feeling like. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I hope this was helpful to you, and I hope you come back again. Until we meet again, actually, I hope you follow me. And if you're interested in more sunscreen videos, I should have said this at the front, I do have a playlist. So go to my main page and then go to playlists, and you will see a playlist of sunscreens and have at it. Now, thank you for being here. Until we meet again, be smart, be safe, and I'm wishing you good health.